Welcome to Urban Jacksonville Weekly, episode number 75. What I love about MetroJacksonville.com is you feel like there's a bunch of patriots of downtown Jacksonville. Everybody's, everybody's like-minded. In fact, there's some people on there that I wish were on city council. Uh, because some of them have some great ideas, uh, especially when it comes to transit issues, um, downtown growth and development. I mean, yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Um, and it's important to participate in all these forums. It's important for me to be here um, because, you know, you can't, again, you can't ever let up. You, I think Jackson needs, needs to keep pushing forward. More businesses need to open downtown, and people need to realize that it's, it is it is a uh, different environment than it was 10 years ago. Yeah, I mean, I do agree with you. We need to have almost like a relentless attitude about, like, being progressive and pushing things forward and kind of like urging the leadership to kind of help us. I think you that's know? best done in person. I mean, I just, there, some of the, some of the conversation, I think there's a, um, a fallacy that um, you're actually contributing by um, giving your opinion, you know, and I don't trust message boards because I don't trust um, people who do it anonymously, which a lot of it is. And then I don't trust that other people um, have uh, administrative powers to, um, delete or change their own posts or do stuff like that. I don't, I don't, I don't like that. And I don't think that it represents if you have, um, a question like, um, what was the one with, Oh, can, can downtown survive? Right. You know, what kind of bullshit is that? You know, uh, downtown, if it, it, I think barring a nuclear accident, I don't think, or, or, um, attack. Um, I don't think that, I, I don't think that's even possible. You know what I'm saying? I mean, so, the, so the, but hold on. But so, so, um, do I really care what 70 people who've all also talking about bringing the Cheesecake Factory to the landing think about, you know, what's happening downtown? If they want to come down and talk about it at Art Walk or, or come over and, you know, and, and meet me at these places that I go to, to downtown, I'll, I'll listen. But I don't have time to read, you know, pages and pages of somebody's opinion on it personally not not to say that it's there there's not um like not you value. jay yeah, yeah, like yeah. Mine? <laughs> did you just flag my post <laughs> um yes no well no, I, mean, I, I understand i understand uh that absolutely because it, it is um you know it's the the whole thing with the internet it's 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 a perfect shield to hide behind and make your little snarky remarks and and hide behind your anonymity as it would be um, but at least a discussion is being held. Um, now, whether or not the title of it should be um, Ken Jackson will, Ken Downtown Survive, that I think just plays back into the negative behavior of a lot of people who were born and raised here. You know, it should be look at the look at all the positive things that are happening in downtown Jackson and look at its increased viability, not, you know, oh, you know, are we going to make it or not? Well, and headlines are written for click throughs, too. So, I mean, you have to take that factor into account, too. Jack, did you want to say something? Well, I was just going to comment. Um, on, I know when I, when I came home from Chicago the other day on Twitter, there was a little bit of a, mm-hmm. a thing about the commenting yeah. that is yeah, pretty comments interesting. Comments are stupid. Comment, you get rid of all your comments. I'm, I'm going to make that. I Tony's a bit. Uh, I, 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 I know Tony. Have I been that? That's the first thing. I, that's that's the first thing I knew about Tony. That's a, that's the He's a comment com- hater. I'm kind, of, yeah. I'm kind of going towards that side though, because it yeah. does get out of control and stupid. Well, it's where it's yeah. all going to end up because you have your own publishing. You have Facebook. You have other ways that you can get your, you know, thoughts and opinions out, and you should. And if you've got any relevance in this world, somebody will listen to you and or you know, post or you'll get to see it. Um, but blindly putting something up on a story that's a very serious thing mm-hmm. um, is um, is not relevant and it's not it's not helpful in any way. If anything, it takes us backwards. It takes us to um, some place that some idiot wanted to take us. And why would we want to go there? I'd say that I think it goes back to what Tony was saying earlier about the can downtown survive thing. Like, it, we should get away from being like, what can we do to improve downtown? Just talk about like what is really great that is downtown because there really is a lot. Like, yeah, mm-hmm. if you're gonna have that conversation, at least have it downtown. You know what I'm saying? I mean, it's just like um, at, for years, it's like you hear people um, cry about it, and it's like all these same people. I never see them. You know, I never see them downtown. They need to come downtown and be a part of it. You know, that's the number one way to contribute. Yeah, I don't think by Talking about it online, this is a personal opinion, obviously, um, but I, I just don't think that's actually, actually contributing.